So today I'm uh, going to discuss uh, three things. First is the advantages of e-commerce and the other one is the disadvantages of e-commerce and the other one is uh, the uh, the e e electronic commerce as a competitive advantage how we can use right how we can use electronic commerce as a com to gain a competitive advantage over the other uh, organization so these things will be discussed uh, discussed only so first is the advantages so you know what are the advantages you know the general advantages uh, we are gaining through the e-commerce website and the e-commerce systems right so uh, i can uh, we can sorry yes we can uh, categorize these advantages based on the characters or the based on the role uh, who uh, based on the role who plays um, uh, uh, in the e-commerce field or as we can say uh, based on uh, we can categorize these advantages based on the role in the society that what we are playing right uh, so usually uh, we can identify three roles so they are the organize as the organization that uh, that the electronic commerce system is uh, holding and as the consumers or the customers that as uh, that uh, who are using the e-commerce system and as a whole society right so as a whole society uh, that are benefited from benefited or losing the things from as a unit as a society right so these are the uh, classic uh, categories that we can broadly classify the advantages of e-commerce right Okay, so I'll give you a brief introduction, brief explanation regarding these three categories, right? Okay, so I can, uh, so you can, uh, I can explain them, but uh, before that, uh, uh, what are the advantages uh, that we can uh, see uh, as the organization? Api organization neka patting balu, natang api organization neka perspective vege nang in me, based on the, uh, the perspective of the organization, uh, what kind of advantages we can gain through the e commerce? So, any suggestions, any idea? Less physical uh, shop cost. Yes, it's a shop cost, you can explain further, please. If it's an outlet, uh, if it's a physical outlet, then it involves rent and any all the maintenance costs that come along with it. But if it's an e-commerce or e-store, then uh, they can display their products right there, right then, and they can sell it. So yes, the cost is comparatively low. Yes, yes. Actually, uh, uh, we will learn in the next uh, lesson about the different types of business models so that there uh, we are identifying uh, three categories uh, we can categorize the uh, all business types businesses into three categories i mean there are different types of categorizations one categorization is based on the the location right based on the location or the place or the let's say the the yes actually it is the location we can categorize three types, right? They are uh, called as uh, PO brick, and the other one is brick and click, and the other one is PO click. So I think you can understand, you can uh, realize what is the meaning, right? Brick is the brick uh, made with the uh, clay, right? So it is uh, the meaning of the brick in this situation, this scenario is what? So what is the mean? Uh, what is that category? Pure brick. Or sometimes it is, it is called as brick and mortar. Mortar means uh, the the roof. Ulu again. the brick gadol. So what is the uh, what is meant by implied by this brick and uh, mortar or else pure brick? 
can anyone guess physical shops yes of course that is true it is a physical shop so one category of uh, actually it is not uh, in the e-commerce side so we can uh, categorize the uh, commerce systems or the shops and everything businesses into three categories based on the location one is po brick or we can say again it is renamed as uh, brick and mortar that means gadol zahulu that means the physical shops so that kind of business hold, holds only a physical shop and by the way then the other one one is brick and click what is the meaning what is implied by the brick and click or it also it is called as click and mortar then yes so yes gopika an e-commerce yes actually at the e-commerce system plus what is brick it is the physical store right so so that, that kind of businesses or uh, <clears throat> holds two things two elements one is the physical store as well the uh, on the other hand they are holding the e-commerce system or the e-commerce site to do their e-commerce transactions right so then what is po brick sorry po click Only e-commerce websites. Yes, there are some uh, businesses that they are holding only the e-commerce site or the electronic parts only, right? They have only the virtual uh, shops only, right? So it is called PO Brick, right? So by the way, uh, I was just uh, moving, uh, uh, deriving, uh, derivated from the the topic. So I was discussing the advantages. So as Gobiga explained, so the cost for the physical, uh, cost for the physical, actually the physical store, uh, there is no maintenance cost or due to for the rent, maybe so such kind of cost will be eliminated if we having such kind of e-commerce, but if, if only it is pure click, but uh, somehow, uh, by having that uh, physical store as well as the e-commerce site, uh, such kind of business can reduce their cost rather than pure uh, brick, right? Uh, physical store ek vita rakti ene ek kato vada at coste ka doi brick can click the ene kotha. Ira to vada coste ka doi kela hita na pluva. Uh, considering this uh, building cost, maintenance cost, and those things when you're having the PO click, right? So that's uh, advantage is a uh, good advantage. Uh, so by the way, what are the other advantages you can identify? Less manual works. Less manual works. Yes, of course, that is also correct. So could you please further explain? Uh, the process can be automated, like uh, calculating and uh, those things. Calculating what? Calculating the <laughs> transaction and documentation things. Okay, great. Basically, so, we have accountant and do it by manually, but this time with e-commerce, so, we can yes, do it automatically. In, yes, that's correct. So in addition, uh, so it reducing the paperwork also, right? So it, it reduces the paperwork also. So that is correct answer. What else? So right, there are a number of advantages we can get through using an e-commerce site. So one another thing is, uh, yes, you can see several lot of advantages I have mentioned here. So. Uh, one another major advantage is we can uh, expand our businesses, right? For an example, like uh, take an example uh, uh, of the, a shop we are located at your village, right? Uh, so at the first, at the beginning, uh, they have only the physical shop, but uh, after making it, converting it uh, to the e-commerce site or the system, so the other people, the people who are living uh, around your village or the living uh, far from your village also can buy things 
or the product or services from that particular shop through the internet yes using that e-commerce system so that what will happen is it will increase the uh, sales right so it will uh, increase the sales and it it, it will um, it can be uh, recognized by the uh, maybe a large area of people so this uh, helps again to improve the brand name of the company also right so that these are some uh, advantages and listed out here also uh, so you can just go through them and the, all the advantages you are ex you have explained also acceptable right keep remember those are also acceptable as the advantages okay so some uh, this okay great so now i can uh, just uh, move to the advantages to the customers so what what kind of advantages you are suggesting uh, to the advantages right tell me some advantages can buy 24 7 sorry what can make a purchase uh, 24 7 they don't of have course. to wait yes yes that, yes that is correct and can would you please further explain it a person doesn't have to wait until it's uh, the until the shop is open or whether it's sunday or monday it's like all the time they can whenever they wish to make an order they can do it online Right. That means uh, the usual physical shops uh, are open at the daytime only, most of the shops, so that uh, uh, customers have to uh, actually uh, to wait until the shops are open to buy different products or services, so that uh, using the e-commerce site, they can uh, use the e-commerce site to buy anything at any time, so it is called as 24 into 7 support. Okay, what else? So actually you can read the list I have listed out here in the slide. Uh, so what can, uh, what are the other advantages apart from the list I have shown here? It saves time and money. So could you please explain further, please? Uh, no need to travel and get the stuff. Uh, we can order it online. So the travel cost and the time is saved. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay, great. What else? No, anyone is giving her uh, suggestions? Uh, there can be multiple products and multiple vendors can give the services because of the e-commerce. Yes. So customer can compare with each yes. other. That is a good good point. That means uh, that is good point. Actually, uh, the customers can compare uh, the prices or the quality and many features of a particular product. Uh, from different uh, vendors so that uh, they can go for the better one after choosing. Okay, so these are, uh, yes, those are also acceptable answers. So try to find out some other advantages uh, to the customers or the consumers also. Right, the third category is uh, society. So as a society, what are the advantages we can gain? through the usage of use of e-commerce. So I have actually listed out them. Uh, one is the customer need not travel to shop a product. Actually, uh, that is explained by Udani, right? So in the last one also, that uh, can be applied here also, right? As a society. Actually, the thing is when you are asking a question, you have to give the question, uh, the re uh, answers, by concerning, uh, by being specified to the question, right? Last, uh, the last slide I have discussed the advantages to the consumer. So 
the consumer can save the money, time, and everything because we are they are not traveling. Here, the advantage the society of from the same point is uh, customer need not to travel to shop or to product, so that's the less traffic right on the road and maybe the low air pollution also, right? So the same point have been converted or the address the, the two categories uh, in two different ways. So see uh, on this way you can, by the way, keep this thing also remember. That is when you are asking an answer for a particular question, please be stick, uh, please be on uh, concerning the question notes, all right? Don't give the, the, the common answers, right? So be specific. Okay, so these are some advantages of society uh, uh, so that uh, the e-commerce uh, is getting uh, 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 expand uh, throughout the rural areas as well. So uh, people can get to know about the new products and things where the people lives in uh, far away from the cities, right? Okay. And uh, the, considering the, the citizens, uh, the e-commerce helps uh, the governments to deliver the public uh, services, right? For an example, in Sri Lanka, uh, now um, the government, uh, the online uh, uh, issuing of doing activities related to the uh, the divisional secretary office. For an example, uh, if you want to get the, the get to renew uh, our vehicle license, revenue license, uh, so we just go through the online system and do the payment and get the re renewed uh, uh, documents through the as the PDF. So uh, th th that is one example in Sri Lanka that the who uh, Sri Lanka where the 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 e-commerce or the, the this kind of uh, information systems help the governments to deliver these public services, right? Not only that, but also the healthcare, education, and some other social services. Even uh, these days, uh, if you want to take a photocopy of copy of our birth certificate, we what we can do is we just uh, apply it through the, uh, the the website or the electronic uh, website is a website a system web system so that uh, they can be done uh, where while you are staying at any place or home so these are some advantages to the society so you can just go through the uh, you can just go through the uh, these slides right okay so I have discussed as the organization, as the consumer, as a society, right? So if we think of uh, you are you are you are a provider or a vendor, that sole vendor, uh, that means you are doing a business uh, by standing as alone, standing alone. So uh, in that case also we can find out some advantages. So I have listed out them also here. But it is again the same thing like the, as the organization here, the provider, the vendor also uh, hosting a particular organization. So that these things also can be uh, uh, common uh, or they can be discussed under the advantages to the organization, right? Uh, so uh, as a sole proprietor or a sole trader or a provider or a vendor, uh, just uh, we can we can give a better customer service. Uh, we can offer customer service, uh, and the by the way, uh, we can as I explained before also the the business can be uh, expand throughout the different areas, and the infrastructure cost is again getting reduced. So these are also. Uh, advantages to the provider or the vendor as well as the organization, right? At the end, it will increase the sales, right? I hope you have understood uh, about the advantages based on three different categories. They are the organization as to the organ society as to the uh, customer, right? Are you clear with this part? Yes. 
Okay, so shall uh, I will move to the disadvantages of e-commerce. So disadvantage, when we're considering the disadvantages, again, we can consider these three categories, disadvantages to the organization, disadvantages to the uh, customer, disadvantages to the, uh, the society. By the way, we can define different type of different types of um, roles or models uh, to discuss these disadvantages and advantages. Me katagar categories will tama tarava. When that category is added, it may become a katagar and pull on the same thing can be discussed under different categories, right? So maybe you are asked the uh, some advantages and disadvantages um, based on the different categories in the uh, at the examination also. So you have to be uh, problem specific when you are giving the answers. Here I'm discussing the disadvantages based on two categories, right? Actually the old disadvantages can be separated into uh, two sections. One, one type of uh, disadvantages are technical and the other type of uh, um, disadvantages are non-technical, right? So the technical related disadvantages have been have, uh, listed out here. So apart from this list, uh, actually what are the technical disadvantages? So what are the technical disadvantages? Not everyone having the knowledge of accessing this uh, system. Yes, right. Uh, so that means the lack of the technical knowledge to the customers, right? Yes, sir. Not so, only customers, <laughs> any party can be comes under that. Category. Yes, not only the customers, but also the organization side, like the, the people who work in the organization. If they don't, if they are lacking of uh, the knowledge to handle this e-commerce system, the, 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 the system will be failed, right? Uh, so they can be accepted as here, the technical as well as the non-technical because it is with a problem with not the, the system, but with the, the, the people who are using it so that it can be categorized as the non-technical disadvantage also. Right, so you just you can just uh, go read these things in the slide, so, and and please find some other technical disadvantages as well as some non-technical disadvantages. Right, so initial cost. The meaning of the thing is when we are developing a website or a web system, in order to do, do the businesses, we it will be take an initial cost, right, to build an e-commerce application. Uh, so if there are people who uh, people inside the organization, the cost will be less, but uh, we can, by the way, we can do the outsourcing in order to develop such kind of uh, e-commerce system. So that time uh, the, the, the developing cost will be uh, charged, right? So uh, there are some uh, the delays of launching an e-commerce application due to some mistakes and the lack of experience even, right? By the way, sometimes uh, the people or the users, uh, users means and maybe another customer or an, another organization who are buying things from that particular, uh, particular, uh, right, okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> so that, um, uh, yes, uh, so you, users are uh, resisting uh, sometimes uh, in order to uh, use this one as uh, Latis explained, uh, they are lacking of uh, the knowledge so that they are refusing to use, right? Uh, by the way, sometimes uh, they don't know the language, they don't know how to use, they don't know uh, the technology. Maybe they don't have even the devices to use, electronic devices to use these such kind of uh, electronic commerce applications, right? Uh, apart from that, the, the security, we have to care about the security and the privacy of the data we are entering to a particular e-commerce site. So because uh, uh, there are a number of frauds will be happen are happening uh, 
when dealing with the e-commerce website so that uh, the security is at a risk. Okay, so these are the listed out non-technical disadvantages. Okay, so now if I ask a question from you, okay, so what are the uh, disadvantages uh, as a customer of uh, uh, disadvantages of e-commerce as a customer? Sometimes the product displayed on the site and what they get delivered might be different. Yes, uh, like uh, there are two things we can discuss. One thing is uh, there are uh, the, the products are not tangible so that uh, they cannot be touched so that the user or the customer can get the real feel uh, regarding that particular product so that um, uh, maybe uh, the, at the end of the product uh, transaction, uh, the user may get uh, uh, wrong product, right? Or with the defects. So that uh, that is one uh, uh, disadvantage uh, considering uh, the uh, the uh, considering the uh, how to say considering the uh, uh, the base based on the the customer side, right? So as the uh, maybe actually we you can find out some disadvantages based on the organization, also as the society, right? Uh, if I call the uh, describe uh, society uh, societal uh, disadvantages, uh, people are getting uh, freezed. Uh, I forget that particular name. There is a name uh, in, to call this uh, scenario or the situation that. Uh, people are uh, getting uh, going far away from each other. Uh, isolation, getting isolated uh, from each other because they are using always uh, the inter electronic devices through the internet so that um, people are just trying to stay alone, right? So they are getting isolated. Uh, I forget that but there is a particular name to, to call this particular this situation. Somehow uh, that they are some disadvantage based on the uh, toward based on as the uh, the uh, society, right? Okay. So I hope you have understood these type of disadvantages, right? So are you clear with this part? Yes. Uh, okay, great. So that's all about the advantages and the disadvantages. So I have completed two uh, two topics. And the last one is remaining uh, easy as the competitive advantage. So this part will be a bit uh, longer, not actually a bit uh, high, longer, but uh, I have discussed some things about the uh, e-commerce site, how, how we can use the e-commerce site, so the e-commerce systems in order to uh, gain a competitive advantage against the other organizations, right? So here, uh, so to give a competitive advantage, to obtain a competitive advantage, Taragakari Vasiak. Komadapi Vasiak Labagane, e-commerce ki and technology ka bhavichi karala, anik organization sold vada diudwind, right? That is the ultimate idea of the this uh, topic I am discussing, right? So in order uh, to uh, discuss this computer, how to use uh, e-commerce as a computer advantage, first we have to discuss some other terms, right? So first one is the competitive strategy, right? So competitive strategy uh, means uh, uh, actually uh, it is the, Way of competing in the within uh, by standing uh, in the industry. Industry ka atule api kohomada rand reken ne natang how to survive in the industry. So in order to do so, we have to have we need to have a strategy, right? Is that strat strategy to uh, do the daily activities on in the organization, right? So the ability of an organization to uh, propose a rises from its competitive advantage over the other organizations operating with its market sector, right? 
So the ability of the organizations to survive re uh, requires that its competitive position is not significantly less than the other firms operating within the market sector. Okay, right, so that uh, uh, in, uh, when we are discussing about the uh, strategy, uh, competitive strategy, actually, as I explained uh, before also, it is a plan, right? Uh, so we should, uh, the organizations are having plans. Actually, they are long-term plans. Uh, it, it describes how to uh, work in uh, work in the uh, from uh, two days on I mean yeah, that day onwards in order to gain the advantage over the other co competitors right in the industry so uh, usually it supports to withstand the market's competitive pressure and to uh, attract customers more customers rather than having currently and uh, uh, and it generates a superior return on investment. That means a, a superior uh, ad, a benefit or the profit from for the organization, right? So, in order to uh, generate or the create, uh, create such kind of a plan, so we have to identify uh, or the we have to do a comprehensive study. Uh, about the feasibility uh, of uh, implementing such kind of a plan, right? May computer strategy ka copy develop karna na tam plan ne ka develop karna order. A plan karna develop develop karna plan ne ka apply karna pulvan the bare the kela feasibility study ka na tam shakyata adhyan ya karna no ne mino ma apita. So we have to do a feasibility study in order to uh, execute the computer strategy that we are. We have planned already. <coughs> okay. So, in order to do this comprehensive study of the feasibility, uh, we are using uh, a given guideline set that is called as SWOT analysis, right? S W O T analysis. We call it as SWOT analysis. Actually, this uh, SWOT analysis, the, these four, uh, the four letters, SWOT, stands for four things, four factors that we have to uh, look after uh, of the particular organization in order to make this, uh, make that competitive strategy, right? So those four uh, factors are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and the last one is threat, right? So actually it is a powerful tool, which is helped to develop a business strategy when building a startup or guiding an existing company, right? Also it is a framework. So, and it, uh, it is used to evaluate the competitive position of a particular company. Right? By the way, uh, these uh, four factors, right? Four factors considered, uh, namely strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, right? So uh, for the strengths and the weaknesses, right? Strength and the weaknesses are internal to the organization. That means uh, they are the internal factors because the strengths are in uh, within us. Right, stays in between in within us. Ape langa tiyena deval thama apit tiyena strengths apit tiyena high high level, right? Uh, on the other hand, the weaknesses are with us, right? Not with the other outside people. So we ape durvala da tiyena ape athena. So we have to identify what are the strengths of our organization and what are the uh, weaknesses of an organization, right? Uh, on the other hand, the opportunities and the threats are coming from the outside, right? Opportunities will be given from by the outside parties, right? You, uh, for an example, uh, the opportunities are like uh, now these days, uh, there is an opportunity uh, to uh, <clears throat> opportunity to uh, sell the the face mask, right? Uh, though I mean, uh, one year ago, uh, the, the the no one uh, bought uh, face mask, 
uh, except the the uh, the people who are suffering from the kidney failure problems. So uh, uh, apart from the, them, uh, no one has bought uh, tried to bought the face masks, right? So after having this corona uh, uh, pandemic situation, uh, people are tend uh, trend, tend to. Uh, by those uh, face masks, so that is a new opportunity open for that face mask, uh, face mask, mask uh, 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 manufacturing industry, right? Uh, the same way it, it, there's um, uh, the and the same COVID situation is be, uh, become became a threat, became a threat uh, factor uh, to the hotel industry, right? So it is a threat. So some, uh, what I mean, mean by these uh, exam, two examples is opportunities and threats are outside or the external factors to the organization, right? Actually, the SWOT analysis was first used to analyze the businesses in the previous days. Now it is often used by the governments, nonprofits, and the individuals, including investors and entrepreneurs uh, in the society. Right, so I'm still I'm discussing about the sort analysis. So what we can do is we just we have to go through these uh, four topics when uh, to analyze our particular organization. Right, in there we can uh, create this matrix. Right, so this matrix is uh, uh, having this internal uh, origin and external origin. What I have explained so far, and the other way is. Uh, uh, those uh, strengths are helpful and the harmful uh, to find out what are the harmful and what are the helpful, right? To achieve the objectives of a particular organization, right? So as I explained before, the strengths and the weaknesses are internal to our com any company. Uh, and that means the thing that you have some control over and can change, right? By the way, these uh, the strength and weaknesses are controllable. And it uh, and that they can be changed, <clears throat> right? So, uh, for an example, uh, 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 in, uh, who is in your team, working team? So we can add some new people to you, our team, working team. Also, or else we can remove them, uh, the people who are not working very well, right? And another examples are patents and intellectual properties of our, our, our yours and the your location also right so these are some strengths or the weaknesses right by the way <clears throat> opportunities and threats are external as i explained before that they are the things that are going on outside your company right in the larger market so you can take the advantage of opportunities and the protect against threats right usually what we are doing is we are taking accepting the opportunities as the advantage and we are eliminating uh, those uh, threats so we can say this protect against the threats right by the way we cannot change them right the strengths and weaknesses we can we could change but opportunities and the that sorry the threats actually we can we cannot change right uh, examples uh, are the competitors of your particular industry and the prices of the raw materials and the customer shopping trends are uh, threats and opportunities uh, <clears throat> where they where they cannot change by ourselves, right? So I hope you have understood. So what we can do is we have to find out the points according to these four categories. So then we can uh, get an idea about our particular organization. Uh, so that uh, one by one, uh, I can uh, just, uh, I will go, go go through briefly. So to identify the strengths, right? So what, what we have to do is first, we have to identify the strengths. So in order to identify the strengths, just we can find out answers for these type of questions. What advantages does your organization have? <coughs> what do you do better than anyone else? Uh, what are the unique or the lowest cost resources that uh, you can draw upon the other kind? Unique uh, 
ඔය වගේ ප්‍රශ්න වලට උත්තර හම්බ වෙනවා කියලා කියන්නේ we can identify what are the strengths right actually they are the they are positive attributes uh, of uh, a company and they are the things that are within uh, the organizational control right that are the things we can control uh, you can consider your strengths from both internal perspective and from the point of view customers with your customers and the people in your market right also if you are having any difficulty identify the strengths Uh, so that uh, you can use these type of questions <coughs> in order to recognize your organization's characteristics right uh, when looking at your strengths think about them in the relation to your competitors right so for an example if all your competitors provide high quality products then the high quality production process is not the strength in your organization market and it is a necessity so i think you have understood what i have explained right so to be uh, identify as but identify as a uh, strengths right it should be a unique one to your organization anik kayata tiyana deyak apita tibuna ikiyali ora apita nattang eka it is not a strength so <coughs> it is just a necessary one right so that uh, we have we cannot consider them as the strength right i hope you have understood that part very well then uh, to under identify the weaknesses of your organization you can just uh, find out the answers for this uh, given questions actually they are not only the questions you can find number of questions in order to identify the weaknesses of uh, a particular organization right so this consider from an internal and external perspective right uh, so do the people seems to perceive weaknesses that you don't see and are your competitors doing any better than you so these are the questions what you can we can ask from ourselves in order to find out the weaknesses right by the way keep remember the weaknesses are negative factors right that detract from your strength strength nathi karana negative factors thama weaknesses kiyala kiyanne edoda strengths kiyala kiyanne positive factors as i explained before <coughs> so you can just uh, uh, read out these questions so this will give you the answers to the to find the weaknesses right the next one is uh, the opportunities actually as i explained before this uh, this is an external factor to your business environment uh, as well they are the uh, they are likely to contribute to your success right opportunities are always to make you success apu hem velem saarthaka karanna thama opportunities kiyana ewa enne right uh, so a useful approach when looking at the opportunities is to look at your strength and ask yourself whether this open up any opportunities so where at place him there tamai now we have already identified the strengths right strength identify karagattata passe eva through so using them through uh, we can identify what are the opportunities right <coughs> or else the alternatively uh, you can look at your weaknesses and ask yourself whether you could open up opportunities to eliminate them right our strength and weaknesses diha balala apita puluwan opportunities and threats monawada kiyala adura ganna api gawa tiyana we can look at the strength and we can try uh, uh, align the, or the generate some opportunities through this uh, weakness uh, strength as well as we can uh, <coughs> generate uh, new opportunities to eliminate such identified weaknesses also right so the last the other fourth part is the threats and, and i have explained that one also so <clears throat> the threats also are an, an external factor uh, that we cannot control over right the the, the uh, <clears throat> opportunities also cannot control but we can uh, accept or uh, remove uh, reject these opportunities but <coughs> <coughs> threats cannot <coughs> be controlled so what we can do is to handle these threats is we can put uh, them in place uh, contingency plans for dealing uh, if they occur 
right eva unoth e wagen berenda karanna puluwam plans adala thiyena widara apita karanna puluwam when uh, looking at the opportunities and threats right in order to identify the opportunities and threats that we are discussing here the pest analysis can be done pest means the political uh, economical socio cultural and technological analysis right <clears throat> so to identify the opportunities and threats we can uh, sep again separate them into four to sub uh, topics we can identify political opportunities political uh, threats and we can identify same way <clears throat> economical uh, strengths and economical threats opportunities right uh, same ways uh, we can identify the threats in so considering socio cultural background and the opportunities also as well as well as the same uh, will uh, will be it can be discussed under the technological aspect also right so by identifying these four right so if i again show this uh, show this one so here uh, so you can identify the strength so this strength will be derive you to towards the, to make new opportunities also uh, the weaknesses uh, can be uh, used by the uh, the other third party people or the external or entities to give the threats to your organization right so this i have discussed that that type of relation in between these things also when you are make generating opportunities <coughs> we can uh, look at these weaknesses of a particular organization that is why the strength and the opportunities are helpful and the weaknesses and the threats are harmful <coughs> mentioned it as right and here the internal or, uh, <coughs> uh, things and these are the external things i hope you have understood uh, about the swot analysis right are you clear with this one <coughs> Are you clear with this part? <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So the next next thing is, so what we can do after the SWOT analysis, right? What we can do after the SWOT analysis is, so <clears throat> we have now we have looked at our strengths and figure out how we can use them uh, to take the advantages of the opportunities, right? And uh, then we can look at our strengths can be combat to threats. right that are in the market and they use this analysis to produce the list of actions that you can take so after making that particular list uh, we can prioritize each and every task right each and every task so that according to the task we can make a schedule <clears throat> in order to uh, take the advantage competitive advantage over the other companies me idi hariyata anduragana advantage so uh, we, uh, it is i already identified that uh, there are three basic strategies for competitive advantage <clears throat> that means uh, there are three ways we can uh, achieve that there are three ways we can execute uh, our strategy uh, <clears throat> so they are namely the cost leadership and the other two is differentiation and focus so these three things will uh, is identified by michael potter in 1980 uh, 1980 uh, <clears throat> uh, his book is called as competitive advantage i'll give that book also for the further references if you are interested in uh, such <clears throat> area so you can read them so in that book it is explained um, there, there are three methods that we can uh, <clears throat> implement uh, follow up in order to gain a competitive advantage so i will discuss one by one uh, briefly <clears throat> so cost leadership is simply uh, to be able to sell the goods or provide <clears throat> sell the goods or provide the services at a price that is lower than that of the competition anikkayata wada e e deema vikunanna naththam e kshetrayema niyalena anikkayata wada 
Tamange product ega hari service ega hari cost ega adu karala vikunano right so that is why it is called as cost leadership right so <clears throat> uh, so uh, cost leadership so that is what the cost leadership uh, behavior of the cost leadership so what kind of organizations the, you can identify in sri lanka who uh, using this competitive strategy <coughs> what is what i meant is they are i mean considering a particular product or service they are uh, 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 costing uh, that product or service uh, lesser than the other organizations which are selling the same product or services uh, can you give some examples from uh, and local or the in sri lanka the lanka satosa for sugar nowadays lanka satosa yeah yes uh, lanka satosa is one uh, great uh, uh, actually good example <clears throat> there are a number of other shops there to sell the same uh, the same products but with higher cost right so <clears throat> cost leadership is uh, such uh, uh, lanka satosa is um, an example in sri lanka in or the local uh, uh who follows the cost leadership strategy so what else others can give some uh, examples you you others also can give some examples please don't uh, keep silent please speak <clears throat> so you are not uh, trying to give uh, try uh, give uh, uh, you are not trying to give a trial also okay no problem so <clears throat> there are a number of companies in or the organizations in sri lanka or also uh, <clears throat> in the outside of the country that is international versions okay so i'll <clears throat> come to the examples later so here <clears throat> Uh, it is uh, the Porter's classification of generic computer advanced strategies are uh, based on uh, the uh, again uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> matrix. Actually, this is derived from here. Differentiation is uh, okay. <clears throat> Differentiation is where the goods or services provided have some quality that makes them more attractive than the competing. products even through the competition may have somewhat lower price <clears throat> right so differentiation is kind of a different method that is uh, they are <clears throat> uh, providing uh, the goods or services uh, but with some uh, being different from the others right being different maybe unique uh, features or the factors in a particular product so they are getting different from these Uh, uh from from the other uh, <clears throat> people who are in the same industry e tamange setreva niyalena anik ayata wada yam kisi wenas deyak karala thamai me gollo advantage ekak ganna danne tanagakari vasiyak ganna danne e krameta and the third one is <clears throat> uh, somehow it is making a low price by the way uh, the third type is focus focus is concentration on a single aspect of the market right a product niche right so that means it is uh, targeting uh, maybe a <clears throat> single aspect of the market so it may be two things one is the cost or the other one is the differentiation so that means we can focus uh, toward the cost right uh, toward the ready, maybe reducing cost or else the uh, we are uh, we can focus on uh, to be a different from the others right so this is also kind of uh, similar to the differentiation but uh, <clears throat> it is a mix of this cost leadership and the differentiation so that is why it is mentioned as a the third separate type so all together we can find out find uh, there are uh, four things uh, so <clears throat> again we can I, as i explained here 
So there is the cost and the differentiation as the, that means there are two things as the competitive advantage we can use, that is the cost and, and being different from the others, right? Uh, by the way, the competitive scope, right, uh, to the scope of the society or the customer base. Based on the uh, customers, uh, we can find out uh, two categories, that is narrow and the broad customers. So if we are looking at a uh, 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 broad customer uh, base and if you are looking at the cost, low cost, it is called as the cost leadership. And if you are uh, uh, <clears throat> based, on, if you are looking towards a broad uh, area of customers, and we are looking to to be uh, different from the others, then that is called as differentiation. By the way, if you are uh, targeting a narrow uh, range of customers, right? Narrow range of customers. Uh, and we are looking at the uh, looking to uh, reduce the cost, this goes less cost focus. By the way, <clears throat> uh, if you are working, uh, looking at the narrow range of uh, customers base, and be to be, uh, if you want to be different from the others, it is called differentiation focus. Okay, so now can you, uh, you can tell some examples for each uh, category, right? So as the Lanka, uh, sorry, uh, Lanka Satosa is working for a broad uh, range of customers, wide range of customers and uh, uh, giving the products and the services at lower cost. So it can be put in the low, low cost leadership category, right? So what else, right? So what else? Uh, have you ever heard about the Micromax smartphone? Micromax? So I hope you could uh, you have uh, you had uh, you have uh, heard it before. So Micromax smartphones and the mobile phones are giving good quality product at affordable price, which contain all the features which a premium phone like Apple or Samsung offers, right? So Micromax and uh, another one is Etel and number of, there are a number of uh, Chinese type mobile phones uh, can, uh, can find in most of the uh, mobile phone selling shops. So they are based, uh, uh, they are um, based on the cost leadership uh, competitive strategy, right? They are following, right? Uh, what else you can uh, just uh, uh, imagine or the, uh, remember? The SLD fiber for differentiation. Differentiation, yes, maybe, yes, of course, but I'm uh, still in the cost leadership. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> so what are the so, other examples you can find out? SLD broadband is cheaper than others. SLD broadband, how, how it could be? So you can explain it further. Like uh, for the monthly rental, uh -huh. so 10 GB in uh, dialog cost uh, like uh, 1010 rupees. Uh -huh. For the SLD, it's almost about uh, 900. <clears throat> so they are affording uh, the same data band, the data charges, uh, same data with low charges, right? So that is what we're explaining. Okay, what else? Yes, yes. what else? What are the other examples you can take? You can emphasize here. For the low cost leadership. <clears throat> right? So why you, you, you just you can just think of uh, <clears throat> what are the examples? Okay, uh, I will give you another example. You just uh, think about the examples, right? The industry is airline, right? Industry is airline. So give me an example in the airline industry uh, uh, for the cost leadership.
Sri Lankan Airlines? Actually, Sri Lankan Airlines is not the, not in the course leadership. Uh, actually, <clears throat> uh, I, I'll give you a good example. That is Air Asia, right? So Air Asia is uh, first initiated by the Tony Fernandez in, from Sri Lanka. So he is the owner of the, the Air Asia, but it is a worldwide uh, uh, airline uh, service. Uh, but but the thing is, he now he is not in Sri Lanka. He's uh, he's living as I remember. He lives in Australia. But uh, the <clears throat> Air, Air, Air Asia is the operations are based on. The headquarters are in Malaysia, right? So in Malaysia, it is operated. Somehow, they are working in, uh, towards the cost leadership because uh, they are giving the the selling their uh, they are giving uh, uh, the opportunity to travel to everyone, right? Their motto is like that: uh, to tra uh, uh, travel for. Uh, all like that kind of such that that type of uh, uh, motto is they are they they are having so they are intention to give uh, travel <clears throat> uh, to all people in this world uh, even they have less number of salary income right so <clears throat> they are working towards cost leadership and if i give give more further things uh, information about the asia so uh, how and um, of course uh, you know uh, I mean, by consider without considering whether they are the low cost airline or the uh, the the high cost airline, they have to pay the same. Uh, they have to pay the same uh, the money uh, for the air airports and everything in other all countries. So that uh, so they have to bear the cost. Uh, by the way, by here, meantime they are. Uh, bearing bearing this uh, cost, and they have to. They are giving such kind of uh, offer uh, the the uh, costly the cost, uh, uh, reduced cost uh, for the uh, air ticket also, <clears throat> right? So how they are uh, doing this is they are removing. Uh, they have removed. Uh, and this is an additional part I'm explaining here. So they are. They have uh, removed the number of uh, uh, employers. Uh, they are not. That means they are not taking much uh, cabin crew. Cabin crew means the people who are working inside the the flight. So cabin crew. They have uh, reduced the number of people uh, cabin crew when uh, 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 one uh, trip is happens. Right. Usually, the uh, <clears throat> there are separate people to uh, uh, separate uh, stewards uh, to work inside uh, the cabin. The cabin means the flight. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, it, uh, they ha they have only two or three people uh, trained to do everything inside the flight, even to uh, uh, drive the flight in an emergency case. Right. So that is how they are training. Uh, they have a separate uh, training center uh, in uh, for the Air Asia. So what they are doing is they uh, training uh, their uh, employers, employees <coughs> uh, to do everything. That means starting from the cleaning uh, to the driving the air flight. Right. So in emergency case, at emergency case, they can do anything. Usually inside the Asia flight, they have uh, uh, if it is uh, maybe uh, uh, B seventy seven type. Uh, yes, they have B B B seven thirty seven type flight where where it is a small uh, Boeing type uh, flight. So that uh, uh, they have maybe uh, three or four. Yes, uh, three or four cabin crew, uh, including the supervisor. So uh, I have gone. Uh, I have used their airline so that I have experienced with them. So uh, including the supervisor, they are doing the 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 that uh, the, the the doing the steward activities like uh, they are uh, uh, offering the um, you know, facilities of maybe foods and those things to the uh, the, fly, uh, the 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 people who are traveling there in their uh, flight uh, fly. Um, uh, flyers so that uh, 
that is how they reduce their cost uh, as well uh, they have you know uh, they they have uh, they uh, uh, the, the other 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 uh, uh, the uh, the other factor is uh, another one another factor is uh, uh, you know usually uh, like the sri lankan airlines maybe actually the sri lankan airlines is uh, not actually in the cost leadership uh, we can uh, uh, i don't know where to uh, categorize the sri lankan airlines but uh, you know uh, in sri lankan airlines maybe uh, malaysian airlines or else the singapore airlines maybe etihad or qatar airways whatever emirates uh, they have they are giving uh, uh, free luggage uh, free way to uh, take our luggages right usually uh, they are it is uh, 20 kilograms or the 30 kilograms per person per ticket uh, so by the way uh, to reduce the cost of a flight ticket uh, air asia is not giving that free right they have re reduced the price of a ticket but they are not giving the uh, uh, not giving the the free uh, space to uh, take our luggage right but they are allowing us to 7 kilograms with on our hand right so we can take our laptop or whatever small bag with us but uh, if you want to uh, the, the the reason behind this is uh, <clears throat> most of the travelers are not taking that much of uh, luggage weight right so by giving such uh, so by, the people are not uh, taking that much of weight so that the space is uh, wasted so that is why they are not giving that uh, space weight uh, for free, right? So, I mean, if we are not giving a space uh, so that no need to uh, pay uh, uh, a charge, so the uh, price of the uh, air ticket is getting reduced, right? By the way, the same thing, same way, uh, the food is not offered, right? Usually, we know in Sri Lankan airlines or the Etihad or the Emirates or Malaysian airlines, they are giving a meal uh, uh, on board. When we are in the on board, uh, that means when we are in the flight time, they are offering a meal. But uh, in Air Asia, they are not offering a free meal, right? Of course, uh, uh, that that means. Uh, 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 they uh, they have reduced the flight air, air fare, but uh, if we want a meal, we just uh, order by paying some money, right? So that way is that is another point they have uh, executed implemented in order to reduce the price of the air fare air ticket. Right, so I hope you have understood about the cost leadership. Right, apart from the Malaysia, uh, Asia, uh, there is another called as uh, Malindoya. Right, Malindo uh, Latinaka. So, Malindo Airlines, uh, uh, they have also follow the same uh, method. So, we, if we want, uh, want to take uh, luggage, so we have to buy the weight as well as the food also. Uh, so that is about the making cost leadership in uh, the air uh, airlines right industry so if i give uh, another uh, industry um, uh, vehicle so can you explain anyone uh, explain uh, about that one how the uh, the vehicle industry or if affected by the cost leadership No one is there to explain? So I don't know correctly, but I think Alto cars are uh, cheaper than the others. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Alto car actually the uh, uh, not actually the Alto, but Alto is uh, uh, sold by whom? from india sir i don't know you know you don't know the brand name i don't i know the brand name but i don't know I'm who asking what is the brand what is the brand suzuki it is suzuki yes that is suzuki 
So Suzuki actually uh, coming uh, originated from Japan, but uh, uh, there is a company called Maruti in India. So they have joined together in order to make a, a cost uh, effective or low cost uh, uh, car. So that is called as what? Suzuki Maruti. Yes, it is whatever the, or the other way we call it as Maruti Suzuki. Right, Suzuki Maruti, whatever that is, small car. So that is they made under uh, this low cost leadership strategy. Right, actually, the thing is, this company is following up, following this cost leadership and the differentiation, and all they are following the hybrid version, but they are making, uh, they are doing different products for different uh, strategies. Right, for the cost leadership, they are they have made uh, the Maruti Suzuki car. So actually they have, it is made for the uh, people who are having uh, less salary per month, right, in India. Right, by the way, apart from the Maruti, Maruti Suzuki, you actually it is correct, good dance, good example. Have you ever heard uh, Tata Nano? Yes, sir. Yes, Tata Nano also uh, developed by the Indian people. Uh, in order to uh, uh, give a competitive strategy based on the cost leadership method, right? Uh, so uh, they have reduced the number of uh, features of a uh, quality car and they have made uh, with the least requirements, uh, included least requirements to the car, right? Maru uh, Tata Nano also. Uh, what else you know? Okay, so I hope you have understood very well, right? So I have given two industries as examples. Uh, okay, the next one is differentiation, right? I don't want to uh, pay much uh, uh, time here also. Okay, so the differentiation by uh, while uh, uh, making their products or services towards broad range. So actually I can, uh, my view is about the, uh, my view is about uh, 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 about the Sri Lankan airlines, we can put under this one because uh, it is for the Sri Lankans or the broad range of, uh, actually not only the Sri Lankans, you know, uh, Pakistan people, Pakistanis are very much like to uh, travel, fly using the Sri Lankan airlines. I don't know because, uh, but the thing is uh, when, um, I mean, there were, there are a lot of friends of mine when I was in my postgraduates, uh, so they are very much like to use uh, Sri Lankan airlines uh, 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 when we are, when they are traveling from China to Pakistan or the, from Pakistan to China or some to somewhere else. So the thing is, uh, they are working, uh, trying to uh, reduce the cost also, but uh, they are they are trying to be different uh, from the others. Right, so they are wearing different. They are uh, using different uh, behaviors uh, when they are when the travelers are entering to the uh, the flight, and they are trying giving some different features. They are offering some uh, features uh, rather than the others doing, uh, so that uh, uh, this may be the Sri Lankan Airlines can be put under the differentiation category. So, what kind of examples you can take? Right. So, what what kind of examples you can give? So, the iPhones always giving a new technology when they are releasing a new. Yes. Phone. Right. So that is correct. So it is differentiation leadership, and they are say, uh, working for a broad range of customers and being different from the others. Right. So that uh, it is very good example, right? Mm, by the way, I forgot to discuss some uh, examples from the Sri Lanka for the cost leadership. I yes, uh, you have we have discussed the, the that Sri Lanka Satosa is there, but what else?
Okay, tell me from Sri Lanka for the differentiation. So are you, I think you are not aware of these things, right? Are you? Okay, so if I go for an international version, international example, so you know the BMW cars, right? So BMW offers uh, cars which are different from the other car brands. And BMW cars are more technological advanced and having better features and have good personalized service. So being personalized, giving a be a personalized service, that means you can order, uh, you can customize your preferences when you're ordering a car through the online website or even from the BMW. So that is their personalized, uh, being a personalized, uh, giving a personalized services, uh, uh, one factor of the differentiation and they have better features as well as they are technologically advanced, right? And uh, yes, usually uh, the, the Toyota also may be the cost leadership in, in uh, maybe in Japan, but for us, it is not cost leadership as you know, right? Uh, in Sri Lanka, Toyota vehicles are higher, very much expensive, but in Japan, uh, it is uh, just, they are following the cost leadership or the differentiation from the others, right? Even Honda, right? And uh, uh, what else, what ex, uh, what the, uh, the things. Okay, uh, one, one example I can take from Sri Lanka. You Have you ever heard about Baskin Robbins? Baskin and Robbins? No. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, some people have heard. But some people haven't, hadn't, didn't heard it, right? The Baskin and Robbins is uh, the uh, ice cream shop, right? So they are uh, a bit higher, right? They are, uh, they are prices a bit higher, but uh, they are being different from the other uh, uh, ice cream companies. Uh, by uh, being different, they can, I mean, if you are going to uh, Baskin Robbins shop, uh, ice cream shop, uh, so you can select which flavors you need and you can, it is like uh, making a salad by yourself, right? There are different, different uh, cages inside there are different ice creams there. We can pour ice creams into our bask, uh, our bowl uh, as what, as, as how much we need so that uh, we can make ourselves the ice creams. And it is a bit higher, they higher the price, but they are being different from the other uh, ice cream shops, right? Baskin Robbins. So what, uh, I mean, you can just think about the society in Sri Lanka. You have gone everywhere. You have traveled a lot of places in Sri Lanka, maybe. Maybe at least to Colombo, at least to Candy, right? Maybe at least to Mathur, at least to Gaul, maybe at least to Waunia, right? So that, uh, what, what are the uh, examples? Are you not aware of anything? So you are not uh, giving me any answer. Palapakati biryani shop. So they are are giving, Palapakati, they are giving the biryani uh, in with the pot. Which, which, which shop? Palapagati biryani shop in Colombo. <laughs> ah, okay, in Colombo, right? Okay. It's different from other uh, shops. Ah, yes. If we going for the night, that the, the, there are a number of biryani shops in everywhere. So that uh, that name, I don't know. But uh, somehow they are uh, differentiated from the others, uh, but for the broad range of uh, customers. 
so they are giving the pot in the pot right so uh, where the others people are giving it in the on the plate right so this is one example okay great uh, and what else i mean have you ever, you can just uh, Okay, one thing is okay. Uh, what is that? The Odell. What do you think about the Odell? Never, what do you, never been there, sir. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, have you, anyone have you been there? So there are uh, export quality items there. In order. Also, they yes. sell uh, local branded products. Yes, they sell local brands also. Right. So, Odell, maybe you, you can think whether it is differentiation or the cost focus because uh, in Sri Lanka, or you know the the number, the uh, we we you can you may think it as if we are narrowing the the range of uh, that means this one this part the green color one, the cost focus part. But uh, because uh, Odell uh, products are being by, uh, bought by the the uh, the the narrow range of customers, but I think uh, it is made for all Sri uh, broad, broad range of. Uh, Customers, uh, maybe who it, it is a bit higher than prices, higher than the uh, the, the usual uh, textile uh, shops, but uh, it is being differentiated from the others. Uh, you know they are uh, you know they are doing some other differentiate different works like tasks, like they are uh, 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 reserving uh, some amount of money from every purchasing a transaction uh, to in order to uh, ma uh, 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 make out the better life for the animals right as i know embark embark yes that, yes. that uh, the brand name is embark i mean in order to uh, uh, make sure the the well being of the the that uh, that uh, dogs in the street, on the street or somewhere, so they are uh, taking some money, right? Okay, so this is uh, one, one example we can take out, uh, we can identify it from Sri Lanka uh, uh, as considering the, uh, the differentiation uh, uh, competitive advantage. Okay. So I hope you have understood very clearly about the differentiation. Uh, also, keep remember this differentiation is called as again differentiation leadership, right? So, uh, uh, so the, the next type is the cost focus. Uh, but the different is they are they are trying to reduce the the cost, but the the the. But for the narrow range of uh, range of uh, customers, what are the uh, 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 the examples you can take? What are the examples? Cost focus. They are focusing to reduce the cost, but uh, for the na narrow range of. Uh, a narrow range of people. Actually, what I have explained in the cost leadership also, right? So uh, the that uh, the the nano Tata Nano, right? Actually, the Tata Nano was uh, focused on the that uh, the, that uh, people uh, who are uh, having salary less than maybe one thousand, uh, one hundred sorry, hundred thousand in uh, Indian rupees. Rupiah lakh uh, se Indian rupees. They have made the Tata Nano, right? So actually, it was uh, focused on the, the narrow range of uh, people. 
the society in the society so tata nano can be put the, under this one cost focus right uh, cost leadership is kind of different thing as i explained before it is bought by a wide range of the actually the current situation is uh, most of the people in everywhere by buying this tata nano the alto car but it was uh, originally made for the narrow range of uh, uh, narrow range of uh, uh, buyers customers muli me originally had we adu parase ga minisunta natta range minisun kandayamakata thama nirmanaya kale namuth ada wenakota hamoma ganne eka eka vela thiyena so thoda data nano can be put under both considering the current situation right and uh, the original intention okay so there is a watch called uh, watch brand called as sonata right sonata watches are focused towards giving wrist watches at low cost as compared to the competitors like rolex titan and omega i think uh, you have heard rolex right yes sir yeah. and the titan omega yes sir i have heard so you have a titan watch right no sir <laughs> <laughs> actually the titan 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 watches right there are they, they have some brands some uh, sub brands of the titan made for the the, the that uh, the broad range of uh, customers for the low cost but the uh, titan watches are originally made with uh, you know for the narrow range of uh, customers which are which is having some different uh, uh, as features of their products for an example they are including some jewels or the um, diamonds in their watches so that uh, so that the cost is a bit higher than this the others of course it is very higher than the others so rolex also uh, uh, rolex watches also they are including uh, um, uh some uh, jewels and the diamonds and some other val uh, value valuable uh, things inside their watches so price is higher that also it is different from the others so that is why they are that means the differentiation focus right uh, so i was discussing all of the things and uh, you know swiss chocolate have you ever uh, eaten swiss chocolate okay so swiss chocolate you know they are very 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 taste and they they are, they are being different from the others but also they are a bit uh, prices higher than the others right the swiss chocolates are usually bought by a narrow range of uh, customers so which category can be put uh, in the swiss chocolate <coughs> actually the swiss chocolates are made by hand so it is it is one kind of a differentiation so they are they are handmade chocolate also this uh, rolex watches are made by hand right some uh, sorry the titan maybe i don't know so that they are being different from the others yes rolex also so what category we can put the rolex watches oh, sorry the, the swiss chocolates different differentiation focus focus yes that's correct okay so uh, these are some uh, examples uh, i want to give you okay so you know uh, the Bali, uh, sorry singapore airlines is uh, a, a bit higher their prices as well they are getting differentiated from Uh, uh the others also but the thing is it is uh, there it is a broad range of, it is uh, addressing broad range of uh, customers so which category it can be put differentiation yes it is actually differentiation okay so there is a question in there in the tutorial also as i remember so try to find uh, the examples in local that means in sri lanka as well 
in the international uh, market for each of each four category right this is one question in the uh, tutorial also right find out uh, good examples right uh, so you can dif uh, uh, separate uh, clearly differentiate those uh, things okay so i hope you have understood about uh, the competitive advantage right so are you clear with this part yes sir okay so the next one is the in to discuss a, a few things about the involvement of ict in uh, giving the competitive advantage strategies right so yes uh, so it is just you can just read out this slide right so how it is explained how we can use the ict so we can use the appropriate uh, tools from the ict or the is uh, in order to reduce the administrative cost, uh, we can use the IT uh, uh, solutions or the IT products tools to uh, do the logistic uh, supply chain. You know, the inventory management systems and these things can be uh, developed uh, I and mean, the software. So, you know, called as uh, business, pro uh, business process management systems, BPMS. You know, the SAP, SAP there is there, and there are some other uh, method, actually the softwares in order to handle this all like business of activities like the uh, uh, financial management, uh, human resource management, marketing management, uh, and the production management, and all of the, most of the business activities are uh, handled by now the software tools. So that uh, actually, so ICT is most, IT is uh, used everywhere uh, to, uh, uh, to give the competitive advantage. Actually, uh, the, uh, the, the products can be differentiated uh, in the terms of quality and service using the ICT. Uh, also, you know, the customer services uh, can be, uh, Customer service uh, tools or software packages can be uh, implemented and execute in order to give the better customer service to the customers, right? So those are some involvements, and you can find right some other methods, uh, other type, other the other in uh, factors, facts uh, that uh, how the involve uh, the ICT is involving uh, in the competing strategy, right? So this is all about the, the competitive strategy. Actually, uh, when we are giving the competitive, uh, when we are working towards to get a competitive advantage, we are uh, we are uh, right. <coughs> mm. uh, we are influenced by different, uh, let's say, different uh, parties in the society. Uh, as I mean, to give a competitive competition, right? Ape, uh, the, ape when we are um, uh, uh, initiating a company, so there are actually the same person I have explained, uh, mentioned before, that is Porter, Michael Porter. He have identified five types of uh, uh, the uh, other parties, five types of parties that are influencing to an organization uh, 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 I mean, to give a competition uh, towards an organization, your organization, right? So that is called as Potter's uh, five forces, right? Actually they are forcing uh, or they are giving, a, uh, they are giving, uh, uh, giving a competition to the, to you, our, but our organization. So it is like forcing. So that is why it is called as Potter's five forces. Right, so actually, these Potter's five forces, the it, uh, the basis of much of thinking on competitive advantage, uh, has been the writing of the Michael Potter, as I explained, book, uh, in his book called the Competitive Strategy. Right, so I will upload uh, as I mentioned before also. Right, so those uh, five things. Right. Actually, this uh, Potter's uh, model helps a firm identify threats to its competitive position and to lay plans and may include IT and the e-commerce to protect or enhance that position, right? So you can see the model in the, uh, the, the slide also, 
so these are the five forces that are threatening to your organization uh, one is the competitive rivalry among the existing firms in the trade sector so that is mentioned in the in the say in the middle part actually the meaning of this one okay i will explain later one by one and the other five four is threat of potential new entrants to the sector uh, the other one is threat of substitute product or services to the existing trade and the other one is bargaining power of the customer and the bargaining power of the uh, supplier right uh, supplier and the buyer okay so the if i give brief uh, explanation on these five actually the competitive rivalry among the existing firm means uh, so we think uh, we are we are existing already in a particular uh industry right for an example i am the person who are uh, introducing the coca cola right so i am i am selling the coca cola in sri lanka let's say as an example right so uh, so the coca cola company is uh, exist in the industry and you know in sri lanka the one uh, uh, you know in not i mean sri not in sri not even in sri lanka but in india Uh, you know have you heard about the kick cola yes sir i heard it yes and the pepsi also you have known right so uh, the first first one the industry is coca cola original one but uh, later the kick cola um, kick cola is very new as recent one but the pepsi is very old a bit old so pepsi has a uh, uh, rival pepsi has rivaled Uh, in this in this existing firm or the industry uh, to give a competition to the coca cola product right so that uh, so that is uh, one example uh, to demonstrate the uh, uh, the industry competitors that means rivalry among the existing firms right did you understood what the example Yes. Sir. Right. Okay. Great. So that. Uh, <clears throat> so. So that is the the uh, that is the competition between existing players in the market, right? So the competition needs to get the buyers and to trade at the price that produce an acceptable profit. So that competition is one on the basis of the generic competitive advantage of prices differentiation for or focus. That we we have discussed that there are three methods: differentiation for or focus or the uh, the the cost leadership. So based on the, that type of uh, one of them, and uh, or maybe hybrid version, and uh, giving a, a competition uh, within uh, by within the same industry, right? so that is how pepsi and kick cola came into the uh, in even in sri lanka there is one called my cola right so that is the the example there are some examples okay and uh, the other one is let's say the threat of new entrants so that means uh, there is a threat of uh, new entrants to the industry right uh, so which a new company or a company in a different product area can enter a given trade sector right uh, for an example uh, let's see uh, okay so previously uh, you know the coca cola company is uh, sell the such kind of uh, soft drinks like coca cola uh, sprite uh, fanta type right but the thing is uh, later uh, they have identified these are the examples huh? so later they have identified the the society is uh, moving towards uh, the the fresh products or the 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 dairy products by leaving the soft drinks right in sri lanka also these days usually number of people are drinking dairy daily products or the fresh juices uh, rather than drinking the soft drinks right so they have understood Uh, they cannot. They, they. They. That is a threat, right? So that is the new uh, potential uh, uh, entrance. Uh, so um, they have. Um, they have uh, uh, actually, they. They can be categorized in some other way also. But what I want to explain is, they, they have identified that threat. Then we, they have moved. They have introduced the new product, 
uh, which is uh, you know i think uh, you may be know or you be, we don't know uh, have you ever heard about the uh, that uh, minute mate have you ever yes, heard of yes sir i have yes minute mate is uh, sold by created by uh, sold by coca cola company but uh, because they have introduced uh, i think uh, i mean this meant it is he said uh, because they have identified the threat of uh, moving the pe moving people towards the fresh juices and the dairy products so they have started to make the fresh juice so minute maid is uh, fresh juice so that is one uh, method uh, that is how they uh, com existing company uh, make a new product so the fresh juice company is being threatened by the coca cola company now right etokota metanadi competition eka tiyen industry eka wenne fresh juice industry eka etokota potential entrance kawuda who is the potential entrant that is coca cola company with the new product right so here also you can find out some uh, examples right and if i did uh, this give a uh, uh, description about the threat of uh, substitutions substitution is again the minute maid right the same example i can take here also uh, that means uh, 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 substitution is a threat uh, to existing players where a new product become available that supplies the same function right the same function uh, happens uh, like the introduce introduction of the uh, uh, juice fresh juice uh, to the soft drink industry or else the, to the soft drink uh, the minute maid have been in, in, introduced uh, to uh, uh, give the uh, fulfill the same uh, desire same uh, same aspect of people that is uh, 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 relieving the thirst in it. That's what the panya ki dhiya na than drink ke ka ki dhiya da. Eva ke alut product ka khadu lo dene ka, handu lo dene ka industry ka da threat ka ko na bolu ahani katiya. Right? Uh, you know uh, the classical example la uh, example is the substitution of the natural fibers such as cotton and wool by the synthetic fiber. Right? Uh, synthetic fiber and you know, natural fiber in water, right? Uh, replacement of the glass bottles by the plastic alternative in some sectors of the packaging industry, right? So <clears throat> the IT industry has itself substituted by many products previously used in the business with the replacement of the typewriter by the word processor. Even in the IT industry previously, there was the typewriter, now we have the word processor, right? Uh, uh, of the e-commerce technologies and the internet e-commerce has the potential to make significant inroads into traditional retail sector with online banking or the downloadable music from the artist's website being substitute distribution channel for conventional retailing and arguably constituting substitute the products, right? Previously, we had to go to the shop and buy song series. Now, it has been substituted by the downloading function, right? So this is one example. So find out some examples for this each one. And the, the other two is, uh, the remaining is bargaining power of supply and the bargaining power of the customer. So when the customers have the power uh, for the bargain, to bargain, the uh, industry needs to uh, reduce the, uh, the price. Or else, I mean, otherwise they cannot. Uh, uh, it, 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 it is. It, it will be a threat because they are. If, if the price is higher, uh, then the exp uh, what ex uh, customer expect, uh, so they will refuse to buy. For an example, recently in Sri Lanka, we had higher price for the uh, what do you call that uh, turmeric, right? In Sri Lanka, recently we had the, the higher price request uh, from from the the the, the industry side uh, because they have increased the prices uh, because because of the bargaining power of uh, actually not actually the same thing but uh, buyers has to had to buy uh, at at any cost because the turmeric is uh, uh, rare on those days right okay. 
So if I go for the like, um, uh, for an example, I'm giving a, 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 a not a real example, but let's say uh, I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 there is a shop, uh, uh, let's say, uh, vegetable shop. Uh, you, 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 you will experience this uh, when you are going to the Sunday fair, right? Uh, right? So, if the particular product, if a particular product, let's say, uh, pumpkin, pataka, right? So, when the uh, the the those the the, the harvest is uh, surplusing. Right in in some seasons the harvest is surplusing uh, so that uh, everywhere we can it is uh, very, very uh, uh, you uh, everywhere you can see pumpkin right on those days um, uh, people can buy from anywhere so that uh, we can, people can bargain um, people can bargain uh, to uh, bargain the price of the pumpkin because the, the pumpkin is available everywhere. Ne? So that uh, in that time, uh, they, uh, the industry or the, the sellers need to reduce the pumpkin uh, price because otherwise uh, they will, the, the buyers will not buy from them. So that uh, it will be a threat, right? On the other way, uh, you know, as I, after some time, uh, the same thing will happen uh, with, from the supplier's side, right? If the if there is only one supplier, right? If there is only one supplier to supply a particular product, right? So, uh, what at at any cost uh, the supplier say we have to buy it. suppliers like if there are two, three suppliers available in the industry, so we, uh, the industry can say, the organized, particular organizations can say, okay, if you are increasing to particular supplier, the organization can say, okay, you are uh, selling uh, this higher price. Uh, we have some other places to buy the same product. So, uh, we, uh, we, we, we will not buy. So in that case, the threat has been uh, eliminated. But if there is only supplier, one supplier, then he can uh, be called it as the bargaining power of the supplier, right? right? So that, uh, uh, so these are the Porter's five forces. One, uh, one is the, uh, the rivalry among the existing firms, uh, threat of substitutes, uh, a threat of a new entrants and the bargaining power of buyer or the customer and the other one is bargaining power of the supplier right okay the other the next question is you to uh, find out some examples uh, from the existing current market uh, what are the um, ex uh, sample organizations who have given such kind of threats to a particular industry right so I hope you have understood this one. Are you okay with this one? Are you clear with this one? Yes, sir, it's yes, clear. Sir. Okay, so yes. And uh, the next one is, next thing I want to discuss is now this, this way, uh, there are uh, the number of threats are coming towards the organization. By the way, uh, com a company, right? By making one such kind of, we have learned there are three, me four methods uh, to give a competitive ad uh, a strategy, to make a competitive ad a strategy. Uh, uh, that is, uh, they are, sorry, they are the cost leadership or they are, what, what the others are, cost leadership uh, or the differentiation, cost focus and differentiation focus, whatever. Uh, being the first mover, right? Being the first mover, uh, some organizations have gained an advantage, right? So it is called as first mover advantage, right? So for an example, uh, the Coca-Cola company is the company who introduced the, the Coca-Cola soft drink, right? So by taking advantage, uh, I mean, the advantage gained by this uh, initial or the first moving, uh, uh, so significant occupant of the market segment is uh, occurred because uh, 
so uh, so that uh, after introducing coca cola the number of people uh, going uh, towards the, that uh, uh, tend to buy that product uh, rather than buying the pepsi after who introduced the pepsi right so that uh, so that is called as first move advantage so the first move advantage means taking the advantage uh, at the first before the others right so uh, so that is called taking the first moving doing the uh, taking the first move but uh, somehow it is not uh, 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 going to the hell is not <laughs> Uh, advantage, but uh, somehow uh, for being first mover, uh, the organizations can uh, get more advantages, right? So, what kind of advantages can uh, gain through uh, being the first mover? What kind of advantages? Yes, no competitors. Okay, one by one, please, one by one. Okay. <laughs> okay, first go, Bigar. Acquiring the customers. Yes, I mean the the customers can, can be attracted by these particular product or services because it is new, yeah. Right. So what what the other the other yes. There's no competitors. Yes, there since there is no competitors, so they can decide the price even neither. So if there is no competitor to do it, so. That is called that bargaining power of the customer, right? So, I mean, bargaining power of customer is gone away because of that being the first mover, because there is no other people who to sell this product, particular service or a product, so that they can decide the price. Neither. So, that, uh, uh, yes, that is one ad another advantage, right? So, what else? What kind of advantages? So I have shown some listed out some uh, ad advantages of being uh, uh, first mover. Right. So you can read this one. So. As explained before, they establish their product as an industry stand. So they can make the stand, right? Uh, so uh, in Sri Lanka, any example? Who took, took the first mover advantage? Uber. Yes, that is right. But uh, that is the Uber was the first... Uh, uh, that uh, taxi service in Sri Lanka. Uh, remember that the pygmy is the later one. Sir, before the Uber, there was Kangaroo, sir. Of course, there were a number of uh, taxi services, but they were not online, right? Uh, Using the. Huh? I think Kangaroo was online, but they ran for the companies only with the online service. Oh, I, I, I have, I, I heard the about the kangaroo, but I, I mean, that, that was not a public one, I hope. Yeah, it's not a public one. They used to run for the company people only. Ah, uh, yes. So that uh, we cannot, I mean, we, we, we don't want to discuss, uh, uh, <clears throat> give that example, but the Uber is the first one because Uber is an uh, international one. So it was the first uh, um, application who uh, in, introduced to Sri Lanka. So by introducing it, uh, like uh, they have taken this advantage, maybe they have uh, made the, uh, the established their product as the industry stranded, right? So by the way, keep remember, being the first mover, there are some disadvantages also, right? Being the best uh, first mover, there are some disadvantages. Okay, I'll come to later. Uh, <clears throat> so what else, uh, what are the other examples? get into the mobile networks first time. Actually, the first uh, first one is not the dialogue. As I remember, mobile networks, the dialogue is first one, I think so. No, no. First move is the zero tell. You know, now it is, uh, it is what? Uh, the first one is uh, zero tell, I think. 
Okay, you just go through the internet and find out which is the first. I, actually, I, my my I, as according to my knowledge, it is Celtel. Uh, Tigo. Yes, I mean Celtel was later. It is changed to Tigo. Then it was again changed. To, what is that? Uh, Etisalat. Etisalat. Yes. Now the Etisalat was uh, bought by Hachis. Hachisan. Hachisan means Hach. <clears throat> now there is no Hach. Sorry. Now there is no Etisalat. Uh, both uh, uh, are controlled by uh, the same company that is uh, Hach. Right. So it was the first one according to my knowledge. The may 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 sell tell. Those days, no one other, no other people there were, so that uh, uh, they have taken their uh, uh, profit uh, by itself, uh, higher profit. But later, uh, they are the the what is the dialogue has introduced. Uh, new one, the, the last one which is, which is introduced to Sri Lanka is Airtel. Right? Only there are four neither in Sri Lanka. Ah, five. Now there are the hatches. I mean, if if it is still has yet the separate uh, that uh, every time I forget the name that uh, uh, what is Tigo's new name? Next name? It is a lot. It is a lot. Yes, it is a lot. Uh, Hutchison, Dialogue, Airtel, and what else? Ah, uh, Lanka Bell. Ah, uh, those days there was Mobitel Suntel. Mobitel. Huh? Mobitel Ah, yes, Mobitel also, they, I forget, totally forget. And those days, they have a, a, a provider is called as Suntel. Right? So it was started with four. I mean, the if it is a landline in Kandy, it was a note 814. In, in, if it is in Colombo, it is a note 114 for the Suntel. Right? Okay. So somehow, uh, so... Uh, in Sri Lanka, so such kind of, of uh, the companies you can find. And the other question for you to find what are the uh, companies in Sri Lanka who took the, I mean, uh, who took the first mover advantage and got succeeded, right? I want you to find what are the companies who took the first mover advantage and got succeeded. And the other part is of the question needs to find who took the first move advantage, but failed, right? Do you know any example for the uh, who failed at the first move in Sri Lanka? In Sri Lanka, Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is not the first one, so that we cannot see. In international, sir, uh, I can... Uh... The famous one is Yahoo. Yahoo is the first one? And no, the Yahoo and the Microsoft. No, the first. They both are the first search engines, but the Google came later. Ah, yes. Yes, then we can. Ah, that is one, at, uh, one example. Google is one example. Who took, who being the, the late mover? Neither. Parakwala will the Unwechakati good day example like the Anapur. Google. So I uh, you can find some examples. Right? So, so the Blackberry and Android. Blackberry and Android. Who is the first? Uh, Blackberry was uh, introduced as a smartphone first. Ah, first, but they have now failed. Yeah, failed I mean, after the Android. Uh, after huh? the Android, failed okay. after the Android uh, introduction. Ah yes, now they are getting a uh, uh, low low profit. I mean, they are not. Uh, so, do you know anyone is now? It is not in the usage. Not no, in actually, the, not in the market. They are only providing software services only. Blueberry. Oh, Blackberry. Ah, oh, sorry, <laughs> not Blueberry. It is Blackberry. Okay, sorry. Okay, so. So these are some benefits of uh, being the first mover, right? So for being a first mover, they can give a technology leadership, right? Because they are the people who are in introducing their technology as at the first, right? Uh, so again, the, they have the control of the resource because uh, 
uh, right the control of the resources means they can control the uh, the others to entering uh, for an example here i have shown the walmart right you have you ever heard walmart yes sir so walmart i don't i don't know whether in sri lanka there is walmart but uh, in china we I, there are a number of walmart supermarkets that is a ch chain of supermarkets in, first in, it is introduced in uh, as i remember it is from us actually so that uh, in the walmart uh, they have in, uh, locate their stores in every small town so that uh, the other uh, the supermarkets cannot enter get the, to enter the uh, to that particular small towns because of course they can start their supermarkets by the other vendors but they cannot get uh, more attracted by the customers right so and the other way buyer switching cost means uh, uh, that means the so they can uh, they can uh, make the customers mind not to move to the others right for an example now uh, we are using windows nail everywhere most of the uh, everywhere most of the countries using windows uh, microsoft windows even though there are a number of other products have introduced still the people are uh, the customers are trying to i mean of course they are using the uh, windows right so they that is called the buyer switching cost buyers are not uh, like to switch their product right so these are the benefits so again i want to discuss the disadvantages of the being first mover sometimes of course uh, the being first mover uh, they have to invest uh, the uh, very uh, higher cost right uh, they have to uh, use, um, uh, spend higher high high cost uh, to invent their product or service right and uh, so that is one disadvantage uh, so by the way another disadvantage of being a first mover is you know uh, introducing something at the first uh, there are maybe a lot of uh, mistakes happens in the product or service so that uh, later entrants can avoid those mistakes and uh, made by this first mover and give a good service right and uh, 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 sometimes if the first mover unable to uh, capture the consumer with their products later entrants can be uh, can take the advantage of it right uh, sometimes later entrants can reverse engineer their product and make the uh, product uh, for a cheap price uh, the chinese people are doing the same thing uh, they are reverse engineering the new products and they are making for it it for low, low cost right so uh, so the, there are some good examples we can find that those uh, those they were not the first movers one is example is that google explain uh, told by lairu actually the before google there was search engines such as uh, yahoo so however google was able to customize their search engine to perform more effectively and efficiently right now uh, the control over maybe 65% of the search activity is done by google right and uh, of course uh, uh, you can find out some uh, the examples from sri lanka also Ah, uh, I was discussing uh, 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 previously about the, the 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 taxi service Uber. Uber was the first person to introduce it to Sri Lanka, but later the Pygmy was introduced. But uh, the thing is, uh, I think uh, very in in I don't know in other areas in Kandy area uh, 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 rather than having Uber, uh, the Pygmy is very much famous. But they are the, not the first movers. i don't know about the your areas so uh, the pikmi is uh, having the much famous so that is one example from my area so what are the other examples you can find out Huh? 
So what are the examples? Uh, so who uh, came at the second? Well, so, okay, so you are not saying anything, okay. You know, uh, there, is a, there is a chain of uh, restaurant called Starbucks. Have you ever heard? Yes, sir. Okay, the, there were a lot of places to buy coffee before the establishment of the Starbucks, right? However, the Starbucks was uh, able to establish a strong brand equity by placing an emphasis on making Starbucks the go-to place when you are not home at the office or at the office. Okay, in, in Sri Lanka, uh, the, who is the first move, uh, mover to get, give the, that uh, uh, burger type shops? Burger King? No. <laughs> in my childhood, I bought uh, that the KFC burger. Burger King is very near, recent one. Right. So Burger King is the Burger King is sorry uh, the KFC burgers are there, still are there. But uh, I think uh, rather than get, get taking that burger, I think Burger King is very much famous. I don't know, but uh, these kind of examples you can find. By the way, there is a question to find out who who are the examples, right? So, okay, so that's all I have to discuss from today's lesson, right? So if you have any question, actually there is another two slides there, impact of EC explaining. So I'm not going to discuss that one because it is just to read, right? And there are some specific impacts explained, not actually explained, they're not listed out. So uh, no need to worry about that part. So that's all for today's lesson.